<laughs> well, thank you so much for being here. Welcome back to another Wellness Wednesday. I'm thrilled to have you, whether you're here with me live or catching the recording. Um, if you've been following along in this new series, we're at week 17, and I'm calling today's episode, Refresh Your Life. Now, last week, we talked about our stronger blend and just needing a dose of new strength. And so I want to build upon that this week. Um, we talked about some ways to boost your mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual strength. And this is important because in this life, we don't just want to be surviving. We can only tread water. We can only hold our breath for so long. And when we're in an extended season of life just coming at us, we can always have a tough day, which that's what I had last week. I had a tough day. But when you have a tough day with a bunch of different things coming at you inside a prolonged season of uncertainty and doubt and all kinds of global issues, in addition to what might be going on in your own personal life, um, it can just be compounding and compounding. And so we definitely can't survive for that whole period of time just um, band-aiding things and kind of limping along, if you will. We need that inner strength. We need that um, strength in all of the areas that I just mentioned. Um, and we want to be able to thrive in whatever season of life we're in, regardless of the circumstances that are surrounding us. And so how do we do that? The way that I've found success in doing that is through anchoring to healthy habits. And um, I absolutely love, I wanna share with you, and I'm gonna include the graphic um, so you don't have to screenshot this, but I wanna show you that this is what we're gonna be talking through, and then I'll include the graphic for you. Um, so this is doTERRA's wellness pyramid, or in this particular graphic, they call it wellness philosophy expanded. And this was created by a nurse who is also a doTERRA wellness advocate. And so I wanted to say, I love being called a wellness advocate because I think they could have called us essential oil advocates, and that would be such a disservice to who we are and what we're able to provide. Um, for the past 11 years, I've been gathering all of this knowledge, not only from within the doTERRA community, but because of the lifestyle that I choose into from all different ways um, to maximize health and wellness and just a lifestyle that represents those choices. And so if I was only called an essential oil advocate, I feel like that would mean that I was just trying to tell you, um, use this oil, use this oil, use this oil all the time. And that would be so limiting. Whereas um, as a natural health educator, and that's how I see myself, I'm looking at the big picture and I'm incorporating essential oils and products as support tools along that path. Um, so I want to just do an overview um, and show how I advocate for an overall healthy lifestyle based on the building blocks of doTERRA's wellness pyramid. That foundational block at the bottom typically says eat right. In this expanded version, she includes digest right, hydration, and elimination. And I absolutely love this. Um, her additions to doTERRA's chart echo what I would teach as far as foundations of health. And so you wanna make sure that you are fueling your body with the food and the water that you need um, to thrive. And your warning signs, if you're not digesting properly, if you have any type of digestive upset or issue, if you don't eliminate every time you eat a meal. And just let that sink in. I know people who think it's great if they go to the bathroom once or twice a week. And that is not what we're looking for for optimal health. If you're feeding yourself fuel, foods that your body can recognize as food, break down and use properly, you should be able to eliminate after every meal. 
Um, and if there's not enough time after that final meal before you go to bed, sometimes just drink water as soon as you wake up in the morning and you'll go to the bathroom again um, before you've even eaten anything. And that way you're releasing anything that was residual from the day before. And I just love that as a metaphor, like to let go of the past, anything that was had to do with yesterday, that's over, that's done with, we just let that go and we start fresh into the new day. And so it's really important to know not only what you're doing, but those warning signs to look for if something's out of balance. And so some things to help you um, with eating right in that foundational building block are our supplements. You can add a citrus oil to your water. And then of course, Digestin or Tamer um, support the digestive tract in your healthy digestion. And I thought what I would do is after I do an overview during this Wellness Wednesday, we'll come back over the next few weeks and highlight each of the building blocks and talk a little bit more in depth about the support tools I would use for each one. The next one is exercise sunshine and breathing. So important. You want to move your body about 20 minutes a day. It's a great place to start if you're not incorporating regular movement. And some um, oils and products you might want to incorporate would be Deep Blue, Wild Orange, the Breathe Line. And if you need some extra support, our re relief and respiratory wellness programs are really simple to be able to just add to your monthly order and they send you a bundle of beautifully curated products to um, just help support you in that area. And so if you're experiencing pain, inflammation on a regular basis, that would be your warning sign um, that you're not getting proper exercise, you're not getting that body moving and there's something out of balance there. Next category is rest and stress management. So important to get a proper night's sleep. Adults are looking for that seven to nine hour window every night, not two or three hours to get by during the week because we're so stressed and just scrambling to get things done and then maybe try to catch up on the weekend. That's unfortunately not how sleep works. The more you're in a deficit, it creates a bigger and bigger deficit and it takes a lifestyle to be able to overcome those types of habits. And so the best thing to do is to map out your day so that you can get that ideal amount of sleep at night. And maybe what you should do just as a starting point, once you figure out what's your ideal, some people are on that seven end of the range. Other people like myself are on the nine hour end of the range. And so block that out and then work backwards with what's most important. Um, you're taking care of yourself or your family. You're going to work. You're doing different things. And so time block your day to make sure you can spread out over the course of the week, all the things that you need to get done, but still allow yourself that important um, time for sleep. And if you need help managing stress, certainly you can look at the activities in your life, make some cuts if you need to, but incorporate some more healthy things. Um, essential oils are wonderful here for emotional and stress management. I think of our serenity line and our, our adaptive line. Um, and then we also have sleep and mind and mood wellness programs to round out um, those lines of oils and products to help support you 100%. If you're having um, extreme emotional responses, maybe you're crying a lot or you're extra angry or you just notice you have a really short fuse, those can be warning signs that your sleep and stress are out of balance. And then the last one in the lifestyle category, that's, um, I'll just show this again, there's above the line and below the line. And so now we're up here to the top portion is reduce your toxic load and cleanse. Um, and so reducing your toxic load can be accomplished with just simple swaps. Start reading labels, figure out what products are using in your home to clean it, um, to purify the air, whether that be plugins or candles, and what products are you using for your skin care, your hair care, et cetera. And when you evaluate those ingredients, if you're finding a lot of words that you can't pronounce, a lot of chemicals when you look them up um, can be toxic, hazardous, or even 
carcinogens, cancer-causing agents. You want to eliminate as many of those products as you can, and you can trust that anything that you're going to purchase from doTERRA is going to be completely safe and healthy for your entire family, um, pets included, as far as your cleaning products, household items, um, and then certainly your personal care items as well. Um, we also have a special perk for members of Team Share and Shine. Anyone who is enrolled under us anywhere, you don't have to di enroll directly under us, but if you're under anyone who's under us and part of our team, then we have this beautiful private group called the doTERRA 30-Day Cleanse Team Challenge. And it walks you through doTERRA's 30-Day Cleanse, um, educating you on all the products that you need, step-by-step, um, -step, daily education and encouragement as you complete that 30-Day Cleanse. Um, so you would have that to look forward to if you're not yet a member of our team. It's a really easy step-by-step -step way to walk you through that cleanse, maybe if you've never done a cleanse before. And with toxic load, if you're finding yourself having headaches or fatigue or dizziness, any of these symptoms that a lot of times we just live with, um, maybe your allergies are extreme, then you might realize that your um, toxic load is out of balance and um, you definitely want to make some cuts in that area. Now, when you move up into the healthcare section, again, I'll just show you now we're in this top portion. Um, where doTERRA really shines is coming in and educating and empowering us as individuals to manage approximately 80%, sometimes even a little bit more, of those common ailments, um, illnesses, and injuries that pop up at home. We wish we could deal with them, and we can. We just need the tools and the knowledge, and we have that for you. So in 80% of cases, to be able to just walk down the hallway, choose an oil or a product, and take care of yourself naturally, take care of your family or your pet naturally, um, plants too, is such a relief and such a win. And that just boosts um, your overall wellness lifestyle to be able to count on yourself. And now she just has informed self-care self in that block. And that's where I would add faith. Faith in your own body and its divine design to always lean toward healing. And then you're just coming alongside, giving it the support tools it needs, mainly rest, and then a lot of support with pain management, um, and then whatever that specific ailment or illness that you're dealing with, whether you know your skin is broken and you need to repair your skin, or you're just keeping a fever at bay, things like that, then you would add in um, specific tools to care for yourself or your loved ones in those specific ways. Um, faith in yourself that you now have this knowledge, you're equipped, you're empowered to either trust your own intuition, look in a resource book, or reach out to others in this huge healthy community that can support you and answer any questions that you have. Um, and then faith in all of the other things that you're doing in that lifestyle section to boost your health and your immune system and all the systems in your body. So they're really functioning most often optimally. And when you're in that place, you're going to notice that you've developed a heightened sense of awareness of how you feel. And instead of living with a lot of things like all those warning signs that I mentioned as we climb the rungs of the ladder, things like um, digestive issues, um, pain and inflammation, extreme emotions, and maybe pesky things like headaches. Um, once you get used to living with out all of those things as a baseline when they pop up then that's when you that's when you know you need to step in either with that self care that you're applying at home kind of monitoring things for a little bit and then acknowledging when you've come into one of those more serious issues maybe in that 20% where you've been monitoring you've been managing but you really need to partner with a trusted medical professional to make sure you're getting the right diagnosis talk through a treatment plan together and get you back to that place where you're not feeling those symptoms on a regular basis. Such a beautiful thing. <laughs> 
And so let me wrap up with, if you feel like you're in a place where you just want to refresh those foundations of health, those elements of your health and wellness lifestyle that just support you long-term, regardless of the circumstances in your life, maybe you would be thoroughly blessed to have some spiritual formation practices and some success principles added in. Well, I have a beautiful program for you called Refresh Your Life. I'm just getting ready to run it. I offer it three times a year and I'm just getting ready to run it again. If you're watching this live or in the neighborhood, um, it will be going strong through the month of May in 2021. So today happens to be April 28th. We'll be going live in the group tomorrow for the first time. That's Thursday, April 29th. But you can register and join anytime up to Monday, May 3rd. And then I'll be progressing from there, going live every Monday at noon with fresh content. Um, like I said, those foundations of health, spiritual formation practices, and success principles will be organized into four different weeks of content that are organized under beautiful themes that uh, stack upon one another. And that way you can build on that one healthy habit at a time and just add in when you're ready. The beauty of the program is that you have lifetime access. Once you buy in, you're part of the group that's currently running. You have the ability to go back to that group and just immerse yourself in the resources as often as you like. And you also have an invitation to attend any future group. You just have to reach out and let me know. I want to jump into the new group as well. And you're always welcome. Welcome to come back and go through the program live with whoever's going through it at that time. Um, registration is now open. I will add a link in the comments. And so if this is for you, I would love to have you join us. If you have questions um, or need further support before you would feel ready to step in, re reach out anytime. I'm happy to answer your questions and help you get to a place where you feel like you'd be uh, excited to begin. It's it's such a beautiful program. I think it lives up to its name. I've had really good feedback. This will be my uh, third time running it and people are loving it. And so I'm really excited to offer it to you too. If um, the time is right, then uh, just reach out. We'll get you registered, any questions answered, and you can jump in and start refreshing your life. Uh, in the meantime, we'll meet you back here next week for sure for the next Wellness Wednesday. We'll be digging in in a little more detail, going through these foundations of health according to the doTERRA Wellness Pyramid. And uh, of course, see you in the group on Facebook, on Instagram, and know that you can reach out at any time with questions about any area of health and wellness. We're always here to support you. And so in the meantime, here's to your continued health and wellness. Take care and have an awesome day.